The arena paused, its breathing as the James Webb Space Telescope left on an unequal challenge to the most profound districts of our planetary organization. And a spearheading accomplishment, it wandered where no space apparatus had gone before. In the cold profundities of Pluto, the photograph the telescope sent back was bewildering, showing subtleties of Pluto that had never been seen before. It showed the most elevated mountains that can project the creative mind, lovable valleys, and antiquated pits. And afterward, there was Pluto, notorious, cold, and frigid heart, a giant secret that continues on, confusing researchers. For what purpose is NASA reinvestigating Pluto with the James Webb Space Telescope? And how does this ongoing research of Pluto prepare for future missions to the external degrees of our planetary institution? Each development and present-day innovation opens one greater phase in the narrative of our space investigation undertakings. Suppose back, and we've almost surely taken monster steps forward in our space challenge since Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. Still, the big universe and our failure to unwind fully every one of the secrets of the universe are a constant reminder that there is such a variety of we really want to study. This is where NASA's creative activities and contraptions come in. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWS, was sent off to expose far-off universes and buddy into the beginning of the universe. In particular, this equipment is a wonderful expansion of NASA's pre-pass missions. The fervor of knowing vast secrets of the past is a mythical experience. We're as yet inquisitive about the Big Bang and the development of our planetary organization. And all the more significantly, we endeavor to view as an unmistakable reply to the risk of outsider existence outside our home planet Earth. Ought to our perception into the nearby planetary organization become another field of examine? Will the new data assembled through the James Webb Telescope power us to re-examine our significant perspectives of the universe? These inquiries spur a survey of our ongoing data, particularly our comprehension and characterization of Pluto as a Banton planet. Due to the New Horizons' primary aim and its noteworthy disclosures, we have been able to discover more about Pluto. The Billion Dual Hypothesis has disappointed NASA's endeavors and further extended how we'd interpret the frosty planet. Before the New Horizons' important goal, our perception of Pluto's surface was minimal. The most itemized photo we had taken by the Hubble Space Telescope in 2002 uncovered a puzzling mixture of varieties on Pluto's surface. The tones include shades of orange, white, and dark, along with a bright spot that got researchers' attention. Given the trivial few subtleties provided by the Hubble Space Telescope, examining Pluto changed into like trying to settle a riddle with multiple muddled pieces. Then the James Webb Space Telescope showed up on the scene. It ventured into Pluto's circle, taking some stunning photographs that gave researchers an entirely different comprehension of that planet. The scene was like being admitted to a stage beyond to a charm show. Finally having the option to see every one of the remarkable things that had been stowed away from us. These photographs intrigue researchers as well as caught the creative mind of many individuals around the globe. It touched off another flood of hobby and excitement for the obscure districts beyond our planetary region. In July 2015, the New Horizons Operation Well achieved its primary goal. The spaceship went by Pluto and its many moons and sent back the first definite photos of this heavenly body to Earth. This crossroads in history has ended up being a significant forward-moving step in space research. Cosmologists gained data about Pluto and its moons that they didn't previously have. The development of the New Horizons task opened different roads for NASA to look into the large span of the Kuiper Belt. Perceiving the dire requirement for a solid comprehension of heavenly bodies, NASA set its sight on planets arranged among Neptune's circle and almost 50 cosmic units from the Sun. The most striking event of the venture was the near flyby with the planet Pluto and its largest moon, Charon. Furthermore, New Horizons captured fresh pictures of Pluto's four extraordinary moons, Nix, Hyder, Keros, and Styx. The direction of data collection required 15 months, and by October 25, 2016, the goal was achieved. The travel efficiently gathered 62.25 gigabytes of substantial data. But what's the importance of this colossal measure of information? For how NASA may interpret the Bantam planet after data collection. The discoveries from the New Horizons primary mission were so unique in specific, 
that researchers needed to make new cutting-edge data models to decipher the results. In time, Pluto was exposed to sensational surface and climatic sorts that went against the initial assumptions. Despite its renaming as a Banton planet, Pluto showed a powerful nature. It evolved at a rate that prompted NASA to reevaluate and change present data about this fascinating heavenly body. NASA's high-quality images of Pluto reveal intriguing insights about this far-off Bantam planet. One striking highlight is Pluto's heart-shaped district, scientifically named the Sputnik Planum. It assumes a significant part in molding a significant lot of Pluto's surface features. Surprisingly, this heart-shaped area is not warm and pulsating but rather cold, frosty, and almost frozen. In fact, it is a vast spread of nitrogen ice, spanning over one million square miles. The presence of this huge nitrogen ice sheet at Pluto's heart has important implications. It is liable for a cycle known as the true polar wander, which causes the planet's rotational pivot to move forward. Before New Horizons' important goal, researchers were ignorant that Pluto's heart-shaped bowl lies across from its largest moon, Charon. This reorientation of Pluto has fascinating outcomes, especially in regards to the relationship between Pluto and Charon. Simply the arrangement of Pluto's heart-shaped bowl with the shifting pivot between Pluto and Charon suggests that the heart's presence influences the planet's direction. This means that the gravitational shaft between Pluto and Charon, combined with the presence of the Sputnik Planum, has made Pluto tilt slightly on its hub. This newly determined understanding reveals insight into why Pluto is such a dynamic and exciting world. Despite being appalling for people, Pluto's frigid surface and the massive nitrogen ice sheet at its center add to its unique characteristics. This includes its propensity to tip due to the lopsidedness and its mass. Pluto's large mass, combined with the gravitational pull of its moons, can set off a peculiarity called apparent polar wander. This unusual occurs when a planet adjusts its hub to a higher circle. Besides, the presence of the thick ice sheet alone is not enough to cause such a critical redirection. When the large ice sheet adds to Pluto's mass, it is not the main factor driving the Bantam planet's tilt or the strong flowing forces experienced in a noteworthy development. Recent mechanical advancements have allowed researchers to dive further into Pluto's secrets, prompting a pivotal discovery unknown to us. Pluto has an ocean hidden under its frosty skin. This is a revolutionary discovery as it topples our past scientific assumptions about the planet's design and origins. The presence of an ocean as one of Pluto's internal features significantly modifies our perspective on this distant moon, placing it among the other maritime moons in the nearby planetary organization like Titan, Enceladus, and Europa. Although there is currently no evidence that life could exist in Pluto's ocean, the way that it would try to exist makes us question whether extraterrestrial conditions would be able to be livable. This discovery provides grounds for the concept of life beyond Earth and heightens the stakes for studying and finding maritime universes in our planetary organization. NASA also acknowledges that, despite the shortfall of definitive evidence, extraterrestrial life remains a viable speculation. One more critical discovery by NASA's Cassini mission was an ocean rich in phosphorus apprehended under the frigid surface of the Enceladus satellite circling Saturn. This finding has sparked ongoing discussions about the possibility of extraterrestrial life since phosphorus is essential for the development of DNA and RNA, the basic elements of life. Although Enceladus remains a potential astrobiological focus for space research, the complexity of assessing Pluto's habitability goes in a new direction. Pluto's case is distinct because while the imaging tools are sufficiently advanced to take clear pictures of its surface, they are not equipped to look into its habitability. This incapability to determine the precise chemical composition of Pluto's subsurface water makes it difficult to expand our insight and definitively determine if Pluto could have life. NASA continues investing in exploring frosty worlds like Pluto. But as of now, the equipment for assessing the contents of its seas is non-existent. However, this doesn't diminish the value of focusing on Pluto. The planet offers insights into different aspects of planetary science from understanding its geographical features to unraveling its origins. Moreover, every new discovery adds to our understanding of the nearby planetary organization and fuels our interest in the possibility of life beyond Earth.
When we delve into the bigger picture of Pluto, its environment continues to freeze and subside, and a form of snow which falls on the outer layer of the planet. However, the particular nature of these snow particles is still a mystery to us. Researchers are still unable to determine whether the snow falls, or whether it is grainy or flake-like. There's also a chance that this snowfall could appear as blizzard-like breezes or a gentle snow moving around the thick, frosty haze. Updated researchers have been able to see what appears to be a layer of nitrogen snow that consolidated from the atmosphere and settled on the surface in regions like Temerio. This would help researchers with identifying the type of snowfall that showers on Pluto. While examining it further, these mountains are especially diverse. They're made out of water ice frozen as hard as rock and can in, a type of frozen methane snow. A portion of these towering pinnacles can reach levels of up to 22 meters over the surrounding landscape like the tough mountains in North America. While seeing mountains on Pluto isn't beautiful, researchers can't make sense of how these mountains are formed on the Earth. The origin of the mountains basically results from both structural tendencies or volcanic activities. In the meantime, the mountains on Pluto show no evidence of structural or volcanic activity. As such, researchers suggest that its mountains are formed through a cycle referred to as sublimation disintegration. Sublimation disintegration occurs when the frozen materials like nitrogen or methane on Pluto's surface are exposed to sunlight and change directly into gas, leading to disintegration of the surrounding territory. Moreover, leaving behind tall, spiky pinnacles. Amazingly, Pluto gradually recovers its surface in some locals. Evidence suggests that a cold, slushy, magma-like substance has flowed over its landscape at different times. This common peculiarity is referred to as cryovolcanism, where the frigid volatiles, for example, water, methane, and alkali are ejected, rather than magma. The same cryovolcanic activity is also seen on some other cold moons like Enceladus and Europa. The presence of sloping regions having pits or depressions on their surfaces points to the cryovolcanic activity of Pluto. One compelling model is Deuce Mountain in Pluto's southern half of the globe, rising 25 miles, 40 kilometers, above its environmental elements. With a wide-ranging impact depression, this component found in close-up pictures is thought to be an ice volcano, probably the largest of its kind in the outer nearby planetary organization. One more intriguing discovery on Pluto's surface is extensive fields of rises, resembling those found in deserts on Earth. Stretching across the western part of its heart-shaped region, these hills are another mystery that must be tackled to understand extraterrestrial areas. Where humans have not yet set their impressions, the features on Pluto's surface, including its ridges, are like those found on the Earth. The hills on Earth are formed by the movement of wind, which conveys particles and deposits them in specific areas. However, the hills on Pluto exhibit significant differences. They might have formed from wind activity as well as from the melting of nitrogen ice, causing sand-sized methane ice grains to be lifted by expanding gases, and subsequently airborne, even though Pluto's ridges are generally larger than those on Earth, with some as tall as mountains and stretching for several miles. This is logical because of the lower gravity on Pluto, allowing particles to be moved more efficiently, making these remarkable features one more fascinating aspect of Pluto's scene. It is the presence of huge mountains. It is the presence of huge mountains made of water ice, some as high as 22 kilometers, 13.7 miles, that captures the imagination and interest of scientists. These towering peaks on Pluto, composed of frozen methane and nitrogen, stand out against the otherwise flat landscape. Unlike Earth's mountains, which are typically formed through tectonic or volcanic processes, Pluto's mountains are believed to be the result of a different phenomenon known as sublimation erosion. Sublimation erosion occurs when the frozen nitrogen or methane on Pluto's surface is exposed to sunlight and directly transitions from solid to gas. This process erodes the surrounding terrain, leaving behind tall, jagged peaks. Interestingly, Pluto's surface is dynamic in some areas, suggesting that a slushy, icy magma-like substance may have flowed across its landscape at different times. This phenomenon, known as cryovolcanism, involves the eruption of volatile ices such as water, methane, and ammonia rather than molten rock. 
cryovolcanic activity is also observed on other icy moons in the outer solar system, such as Enceladus and Europa. The presence of smooth plains with pits or depressions on their surfaces indicates cryovolcanic activity on Pluto. One notable example is Wright Mons in Pluto's southern hemisphere, rising 3.5 kilometers, 2.2 miles, above its surroundings with a large impact crater at its summit. This feature, observed in close-up images, is believed to be an ice volcano, possibly the largest of its kind in the outer solar system. Another intriguing discovery on Pluto's surface is extensive fields of dunes, reminiscent of those found in deserts on Earth. Stretching across the western part of its heart-shaped region, these dunes are another puzzle that researchers aim to solve to understand extraterrestrial environments better. On Earth, dunes are formed by the movement of wind, which carries particles and deposits them in specific areas. However, Pluto's dunes exhibit significant differences. They may have formed from wind activity and the sublimation of nitrogen ice, which causes sand-sized methane ice grains to be lifted by expanding gases and transported through the atmosphere. Pluto's dunes are generally larger than those on Earth, with some as tall as mountains and stretching for several kilometers. These features highlight the dynamic and complex nature of Pluto's surface, shaped by processes unique to icy worlds in the outer solar system. Each discovery provides valuable insights into planetary evolution and the diversity of environments beyond Earth. In conclusion, Pluto remains a captivating object of study for scientists, revealing surprises and challenging our understanding of planetary processes. From its icy heart-shaped region to towering mountains and mysterious dunes, Pluto's surface features reflect a history shaped by cryovolcanism, sublimation erosion, and other unique geological processes. NASA's ongoing exploration and the data collected by missions like New Horizons and the James Webb Space Telescope continue to expand our knowledge.